everybody uh, so here we are again um, I mentioned in the last video I was going to get a um, I guess they call it a model 1950 Colombian Mauser um, these these are the ones supposedly made by FN Herschel um, and these are Mausers that are chambered in 30-06 that come directly from Belgium um, these are not to be confused uh, with the model uh, M954, which is a Brazilian Mauser that was, uh, they took a 1908 Mauser and converted it, rebarreled them in Brazil. Um, just uh, by way of introduction, um, I took Military Surplus Carbon Collector's advice and called over there, spoke with James, had quite a few conversations with him, um, and I asked him specifically, I said, hey, you guys got these, you know, 30 out 6 Mausers what's the markings on them? What do you have? And he informed me they had three different ones. Um, he said they had an M, they had ones that were marked M954. He said he had ones that were marked model 1950. And then he said there was some that were marked, uh, I don't know if it was Colombian uh, Army or Colombian National Police or I, I'm not really sure. Um, but I told him specifically um, that I would like to get my hands on a really nice model 1950. Uh, preferably numbers matching in the best shape possible. I think these were $168. I paid the extra for a hand select. Um, and I'll put a picture up in the video here. Um, and I think I also paid for the sling as well. Um, so I just got this in. I got this in, uh, let's see, today is December the 2nd. I got this in two days ago. I've been waiting to do this video. This is the first chance I got. So we're going to get right to it. We're going to do the unboxing so you guys can see it and uh, see what kind of condition this is in. So without further ado. Okay guys, so um, these things are always a bit of a pain to get open. Um, that's fine. You know, just part of it. I'm glad that they actually uh, packed this fairly well. Um, well, you guys can see it. I think my bolt's in here. Um, here is here it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this box out of the way. It looks like they kind of actually tried to package it quite nicely in here to keep it as secure as possible. I mean, not a terrible, terrible job packaging. Believe me, I've seen much worse. Okay. So, let's get right into it. Other than all this little fun stuff that's going to stick everywhere. Now, one thing I need to mention, these were listed as possibly missing a small amount of parts. Um, so, with that being said, I'm not expecting this thing to be perfect. As a matter of fact, I'm expecting to probably be missing a few parts. Is that going to deter me from getting one? No, certainly not. Uh, there's my invoice. We'll set that aside. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here. You guys can see it's heavily caped. You know, much like a lot of your imports, you know, some of the ones like from Royal Tiger, for instance, they're always, you know, pretty grimy, pretty nasty, but you know what? It's a surplus rifle. Wow. You guys make, see if you guys can see this. 
they made sure they really wrapped the muzzle in. Try to keep this thing as as uh, safe as possible. Okay, let's check this out. Well, I'm actually pretty frustrated here. They sent me a model 954. That's not what I wanted. Um, it's extremely frustrating. Um, I'll just show you guys. I mean, the rifle looks great, but. There it is really not what I requested. Granted they sent me a rifle in good shape but um, kinda looks like I got burned in my request for what I wanted. I don't know how that happened but it happened. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate. Um, <laughs> I really don't know what to say, guys. That's. I guess you could say I'm kind of one of the ones that. <laughs> I guess got it this time. Um, Looks like he did include a 30 out six round that they had chambered and fired. Um, I don't even know if this thing is numbers matching. I don't have a clue. What I'm trying to do is clean this off. Looks like a Two three eight zero maybe. Hmm. It's mismatched. The rifle itself, other than that, you know, it looks like it's in good shape. Um, I'm not really. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I don't really know what to say here. Um, I really thought I was going to get sent a Model 1950. Um, as you can see, that's not the case. I'm kind of upset. But, um, you know, I guess it is what it is. I mean, other than that, the rifle appears to be in pretty good overall condition. I mean, really does but um yeah I'm uh rather shocked <laughs> that I didn't actually get what I asked for kind of at a loss of words here um well crap Well, you can all say this. You can see the crest. The rifle actually really does look wonderful. The only, you know, the only downside to these M954s is some of the early ones were improperly heat treated that they converted, and um, you know, as a result, you can have headspace creep on these. Some of them might have brittle receivers. Um, I will say this: there in Brazil, they did go back and they did 
sort of um, uh, reheat treat them um, to try to fix that uh, that soft receiver issue some were fine and some they overly heat treated um, which would make them to be brittle um, this has had you know, I will show you this. It looks like it's had a repair back here. You know, it's got the trapdoor butt plate. But all in all, um, you know, it's got a gouge there. All in all, the barrel and everything looks in really good shape. I just, I just really didn't expect to get sent this one. Because <laughs> I specifically asked to not get sent this one. But maybe there's a mix-up. But um like i said all in all all the pieces are here except for you know you got one little retaining screw gone here um but the rifle is in great shape i mean i can't complain about that it's just it's not the particular model of 30 out six mauser i was hoping for so well <laughs> i guess you could say this is my first time that i didn't get what i was expecting so anyway, there you have it guys. You can do some research on these. Uh, like I told you in the intro, the M954s were the ones that were rebarreled in Brazil. Some are good, some are bad. You know, kind of like the early 1903 A3s. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna kill the video here and uh, I'm going to take this thing apart and take a good look at it.